A new lawsuit is alleging a Macomb County psychiatric hospital is to blame for the sexual assault of a young man suffering from mental illness. The hospital Harbor Oaks in New Baltimore has been the subject of scores of Seven Action News investigations over the last three years. Between July and December of last year, 14 allegations of assault inside the hospital were reported to police. A number of assaults happening inside the hospital have led to criminal charges. And tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones has the story of one of them. He joins us live with the very latest. Ross. Alan, good evening. We are not naming the young man in this story because he is the victim of an assault. But like too many patients at Harbor Oaks Hospital, he walked in in bad shape and left far worse. He was admitted to Harbor Oaks and he was broken and he was discharged shattered. Heidi Ritzrow's son was 17 when he came to Harbor Oaks Psychiatric Hospital in 2018. Suffering from anxiety and depression, he was admitted after attempting suicide. He had grabbed a bunch of ibuprofen and he locked himself in the bathroom and was gonna take it all. Because of his fragile state, his mother says she asked hospital staff that her son not have a roommate. They told me no, that they could not do that that they had too many patients, but they promised to keep him safe. He was admitted to Harbor Oaks on a Thursday. By Saturday, he was assaulted by his roommate. His mom learned through a phone call. Mom, you have to help me. My roommate tried to rape me last night. It's a statement that will burn in my brain for the rest of my life. The roommate attempted to engage in sexual acts with him, uh, tried to force him to perform oral sex on him. According to police reports, he put his hands down his pants and assaulted him for 10 minutes. Attorney Brian McKean, who is now filing suit against the hospital, says staff was aware that the roommate had a history of assaultive behavior and still placed him in the same room as his client. And to put him into a situation where he could be assaulted by a person with a known history of violence is just unacceptable. The assailant was charged with criminal sexual conduct in the fourth degree, and according to the lawsuit, later pleaded no contest to aggravated assault. As we've reported since 2017, scores of patients and staff at Harbor Oaks have reported being the victims of physical and sexual assaults, made possible, according to employees, by chronic understaffing. One is too many, but if there's been one assault like this, there shouldn't be a second, there shouldn't be a third, let alone over a dozen. They had a job to fulfill a basic medical oath to do no harm. They failed to do their job. Now, citing patient privacy, Harbor Oak CEO Brianna Jacob declined comment on this story and this litigation. However, she says that this case was reported to state and federal regulators and the hospital was not cited for any deficiencies. We're live tonight. I'm Ross Jones. 7 Action News. All right. Thank you so much, Ross.